Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Yes, we're getting closer to the event every single day. I'm super, super excited for this and every single day I'm gonna try and keep you up to date with all of the legit news which I have for you guys. So as always, smash a like and comment anything down below to help this algorithm help the video out. Thank you anyone considering to do that. And I'm gonna try and not leak, well I am going to not leak anything for you guys for the event throughout all of my videos leading up to the Fortnite event. So some super, super awesome stuff there. If you are excited and wanna keep up to date with everything that isn't gonna spoil the event you're at the right place right here but i will be providing predictions my predictions just general stuff that fortnite posts that we can kind of evaluate and get inside information from so let's have a little look of what we first have for today's video and that's actually the recent post on fortnite's kind of like news feed and this is this one here the devourer of worlds you can see do it says you do know how to drive the battle bus right Question mark. Galactus arrives on Tuesday, December the 1st at 4 p.m. ET. This is basically hinting that we possibly could be driving the bus during the event, but as it is a question, I do think this will be a simulation type thing for the event. So if we look back at the Travis Scott event or look back maybe at previous events, you know where we just kind of get forced around the map and moved around? That's the sort of thing I can predict for this. It's not 100% confirmed and obviously that's just what I think is going to happen in my opinion. But you never know, maybe we might actually get to control the battle bus or kind of control it a little bit, more like a simulation type of thing. Because I don't think there's going to be several outcomes, there is going to be one set outcome. So, you know, even if we control the battle bus and didn't fire anything or didn't shoot anything at all, I think Galactus would be defeated anyway or won't win. We don't know if he's going to be defeated or win, to be honest, but let's just assume that we do defeat him, which possibly could happen, possibly it won't. But if we do defeat him, then I guess even if you didn't, like, shoot the battle bus if you're driving it, it's kind of like a fixed outcome. It's not like the event which we saw with the Unvaulting event where there's kind of different outcomes. I feel like this... All events have got their fixed outcome. There's no like two ways it could go. So that's that out the way on that side of stuff. But yeah, some interesting stuff and some stuff which I think generally a lot of people are interested in on that side. Don't forget guys, if you're ready for season five and we've got not long at all until there, make sure you pop code postbox pat in your item shop. I'm gonna be giving you guys a bunch of shout outs leading up to season five. We've got eight days until season five. So honestly guys, if you find any of my videos helpful, you come back here all the time, you like the second channel, you like this sort of stuff, or just generally you want somewhere to get real information, this is the place to be and to support me further honestly guys code post box part we shouting you guys out in some upcoming videos so with that being said there is also a new tweet from fortnite where they put this on where it says we can save the island if we work together this is our last chance and we've got a picture of tony with this awesome loading screen and you can kind of see just all of stark stuff that he's invented throughout the world of fortnite and what he's been working on and getting all these extractions and powers from basically his big process to defeat potentially defeat Galactus. Hopefully he does defeat him, but I can't guarantee anything, sadly. So let's hope. I don't know, maybe some people want Galactus to win. I think it'd be pretty cool if Galactus wins, to be honest. But I don't want a new map, personally. I don't want to see this map disappear just yet. I can imagine half the map being wiped. You know, like they did in Season 7, where we had, like, all the snow stuff. That was kind of like a big, big wipe. You know, when the snow appeared, the whole chunk of the map basically fell off and became a big snow pit. So, generally, that would be awesome. Uh, but I don't know if that would happen during the event, so... Possibly. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping something like that does happen. That's what I want to happen, but can't 100% confirm it. So, like I said, I'm going to keep the leaks down as low as I can, but this one's kind of an interesting one coming in from Shinna. Thought I'd put this one in. This is Season 5. Could start on December the 2nd, according to this geezer here. You can see that it'll possibly start 10 hours after the event does take place. So, he's basically saying that the season's going to roll straight out after the event, which would make sense, you know. Because it's going to kind of like lead into it, I guess. That's why it's on a Tuesday. That's what my prediction is for that anyway. Otherwise, it would usually be on a Saturday as well. So, some nice information there for you guys on that side of stuff. And talking of the event, we also have some previews of the timer. So, here's some better insider information on the timer previews. You can see this is what it's going to look like when we get closer and closer to the time. And you've got the zero countdown there as well. So, Galactus is getting closer. The hype is real. I think a lot of people are excited for this, to be honest. Here's another little preview as well as Galactus with his kind of like big world table where you can see him here. This is going to be mega and obviously this whole big event and whole everything that's going down is just going to be huge. It's going to be one of the biggest things we've ever experienced inside the world of Fortnite. Now, onto some leak information regarding kind of epic communicating to leakers. I thought this was kind of interesting because we have a few different things going on here. So, Lucas said... In this one here, meanwhile, Epic have been communicating to Vast Blast because he's been leaking stuff, and they, they put this in the code here, which actually states, just wait until 
you see what comes tomorrow. So that's what comes in this leak file here. I thought this was kind of interesting because is this hinting to something that's coming tomorrow maybe? That Epic are going to announce something? Are they going to show a preview of Galactus tomorrow? Is Galactus going to just suddenly appear out of the water? Because we know so far, if you go in game right now, you can actually see kind of like the horn of his helmet popping out of the water. Tiny little horn. So he's a long way out and Galactus is coming, he's coming, he's coming. So yeah, Galactus is like a meme on our Discord server, by the way, for anyone who's interested in that. We call Galactus Galactus because my autocrat always spells Galactus as Galactus and some of the thumbnails have just not changed it. So that's why we call him that. So yeah, he's coming guys. He's rising from the water. He'll be soon here. Galactus will be the savior or the destroyer of our world. Who knows, you might team. Imagine that, the team up, that'd be so awesome. But yeah, that's really cool stuff on that side of stuff for you guys interested in that. Other than that, there isn't really too much Fortnite news. We have the item shop for today. This one's kind of an interesting one as well. Anyone interested in that, you can see there's a few new stuff. We've got the Heart Stopper skin, which is in the shop, which is brand new. Other than that, there isn't too much. You've got, well, there isn't too much. I say that. And you've got the entire Marvel stuff in the shop. You can just Marvel yourself out with any Marvel skin at all. Other than the original Black Widow and Star Lord, they're not in there. So it's all of the newer Marvel stuff in the shop definitely worth copying one at least if you don't have any of them and code postbox part if you do it really does help out and support the channel as well as bus rangers back as well quite a nice skin quite a cool one and probably one that you might want to pick up if you like that sort of stuff i kind of do like it so it's one i've got a while ago i actually got gifted it so thank you so much everyone consider to do that and don't forget guys join as a member we've been working on some videos on the second channel today we spent nine hours making a video for it and if you'd like to get involved with anything like that talk to me help out with the second channel videos it's a little bit of a different kind of environment because we have to really concentrate and try out on it but it's really cool and it's nice to have everyone even get involved with that sort of stuff so if you're interested in getting involved with anything like that being in the videos you can join as a member and you've got a shot right there and you can just join in on the discord get the member role and you unlock some of the roles to gain access to the helper section where you can kind of join out and help on some of the stuff so if you want to you can so pretty awesome stuff there if you're interested in that side of stuff so yeah that's really cool really cool stuff with the event lined up though i'll keep you up to date with all the information as always as as i said you know my predictions for the event talked about them yesterday kind of briefly go over them for those that missed it but my predictions was that something big is going to happen regarding the lead into season five and i've kind of changed my thought on the process so I honestly want to say that, you know, there's going to be like a simulation type thing that takes place during the event. So we'll be driving the battle bus or we'll think we'll be driving it. And I think we'll see Stark fly past. He'll like say something to us. He'll be like, you know, we need to do this. We need to protect the island, get on the battle bus, control the guns or control the system and defend the world. And there'll be like several battle buses flying around. But really, everyone will have the same point of view. It'll just look like that on your screen. A little bit like, you know, you know you've just been put into a simulation. Everyone sees the same point of view. Very similar to what we saw in the butterfly event. You know, you could see people around you but everyone had the same point of view so that's my prediction with that you'll be thinking you fly in the battle bus but technically it'll just be doing it for you you might just be like pressing a few buttons to look like it's doing stuff but really you're not really doing too much it's just like a simulation but that doesn't really matter it's not the whole point the whole point is like the whole event and the storyline and stuff which is taking place Galactus will appear, you'll see the Avengers go in, a few of them will talk, a few of them won't, you'll see a big battle, maybe they'll use the Quinjets and they'll probably use the Helicarrier, that's what you'll probably see for the Avengers side, but we'll be on the battle bus, or maybe they'll use the battle bus as well, maybe even Iron Man will be on our battle bus, he'll be like flying around it with his jets, uh, I can't imagine that any other of the Avengers will be flying around, maybe Thor will be, I can't imagine the other ones doing too much flying though. And then as well, we've also got all the other Iron Man suits as well, which we could see flying around. This is what I think is going to happen anyway. This is only a prediction. This might not happen. So I'm thinking the battle buses will be flying. We'll get all the Iron Man suits maybe flying around. Iron Man, bunch of Avengers. You'll see them battling Galactus. It'll go on for about 10 minutes or so. The battle will have like its ups and downs. They'll be points in it where Galactus might win. The points in it where Iron Man might win. And then there's huge, huge chaos. And then we'll see the outcome. We don't know what the outcome is going to be. So I can't really predict it. But let's say if Iron Man did win, I could imagine that Galactus will fall maybe on Stark Industries and it will cause like the helicarrier to crash down and that will be the POI there. Or if uh, Galactus wins, I could imagine like part of the world being torn apart, but not all of it. So I can't imagine going to a new map. I can imagine some references coming back from previous season and all events, like the Nexus stuff and all that sort of stuff regarding the zero point. But yeah, that's my mind thinking about how it's all gonna work out. I can't really put like a 
what's going to happen if Galactus wins on it because I don't really want a new map and that possibly could be the case but again it is another realm so maybe like I said we could teleport to like another realm or we could go back in time like Stark could press something and everything goes wrong and rather than going to a new map like a black hole type thing we go back in time so we start to see the original chapter one map so chapter two map sorry with like old stuff so everything goes back everything every POI changes to like a medieval style theme we also get the Stark and all the, sorry, all the Avenger characters, not just Stark, but all the Avenger characters go back in time. They forget who they are and they might have to find like the abilities and stuff. I don't know. That's like a prediction as well. But there's all my predictions. I don't know if anyone made it right to the very end. If you did, let me know your predictions down below and comment down below. Bush Ranger, if you made it right to the end, thank you so much. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you guys in future content. And once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.